Capricorn, what's going on with you guys? I hope you're doing lovely. This is going to be your monthly reading for December. We are entering your birthdays, ladies and gentlemen. Happy early birthdays. What's going on with you guys? I'm going to tune into the, uh, to the overall energies here that you're dealing with when it comes to matters of love. I know some of you guys are dealing with something serious. So let's get a message of potency for you Capricorns. The month of December, what's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorny energy. <laughs> Capricorny energy. What's going on, Capricornies? Let's get one last shuffle. What's going on? All right. <clears throat> so at the bottom of the deck, we've got the three of wands. This could be distance. Six of six of swords. This could be distance, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a long distance relationship. Why the fuck does the camera do that? Okay. Seven of cups. Nine of cups. A lot of confusion. A lot of independence is what I'm seeing. Hmm. <clears throat> My goodness. We're going to get into it. We're going to get to the bottom of the line of this. Get to the bottom of the line. All right, ladies and gents. So there's distance. Somebody here. Let me just show you. <clears throat> there could have been a, a very significant relationship here, Capricorn. But it seems like somebody is getting on their boat, right? They're moving on. Six of one, six of swords. This is um, all about, you know, just grabbing, moving forward, moving towards peace, moving towards resolution, moving towards finding that contentment with yourself on an emotional level. And, you know, there's an element of, of uh, a lot of confusion, a lot of discord internally, both emotionally, both mentally, a lot of confusion. But it seems as if this is leading an individual to focus on themselves. All right? Focusing on themselves, focusing on on their own sense of contentment. So someone is really moving towards that state of realizing that they don't need anybody to be happy. <clears throat> so you're gonna be ending the year on a good note, to say the least. All right, remember there was, there was a saying, there's a saying, something along the lines that says something like, you can have all the people around you, anybody, you can have 10 people around you and you can still feel lonely. And you can be alone, yet you feel whole. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. It's like whomever it is that's moving away and finding that state, that sense of independence is simply doing away with what was bringing them a massive lack of contentment. So if you're doing, if you're walking away from something, yeah, someone, it's definitely challenging to say the least, but you know why you're doing this. Look, at, we got the emperor and the ten of swords. It could have been an atrocious ending here. It could have been, could have been betrayal. It could have been a really strong relationship for all I know. It could have been a marriage. It could have been a commitment here. Nevertheless, for a reason, it fell apart, ladies and gents, and you are now being compelled to find yourself once again. Look at that. Ten of Swords is, is clarifying the Six of Swords. So because of some sort of negative ending, you're moving on from this. And again, this wasn't easy. I feel that there's still a sense of grieving this situation. All right? You're healing. Capricorn, you are healing this month of December. Let me tell you. You're definitely going to make some progress. So keep pushing forward. These situations are not easy, but we must embrace them. They're part of life. Do not feel sorry for yourself. Say, fuck it. I got my ass kicked. All right. I, I had greater expectations. I was committed. I wanted success. It fucking blew up in my face. What can I do? Oh, outgrow the situation. That's what you can do. You can become your bad ass self. You're forced to be reckoned with. Look at these synchronicities. This is your energy, the devil and the queen of coins. You are a force to be reckoned with, Capricorn. And you already know that. And even though you know that, it doesn't mean that you aren't going to go through challenges. In fact, the more of a badass you are, the more of a fucking force to be reckoned with you are, the more challenges you're probably going to face. All right? So if you don't want challenges, ladies and gents, you want to be complacent, don't ever leave your fucking room. All right? Stay home, ladies and gents. Do not grow. Turn off the tea. Just fucking sit in misery, ladies and gents. All right? But if you want to embrace growth and all the pain that it comes with, and you want to become the most extraordinary individual, well, here's, here's an opportunity. Here's an opportunity. What's going on here with the Seven of Cups? Nine of Wands. <clears throat> okay. So the nine of wands, ladies and gents, yeah, you're fucking wounded. And these wounds are absolutely skewing your perception. You probably don't know what it is that you're doing. You don't know what direction to go. You're all sorts of confused. You're possibly overthinking this situation. But I'm going to get some advice for you here in a moment. But this is part of it. This is what happens is that we become consumed by our feelings. We're heavily invested into a situation that, again, blew up in our face. And now what? Now we're sitting with these fucking feelings of misery. Yes, we got to process them. 
And we must accept them. That's the thing is that we must accept these things. Accept the grandiosity, the grotesqueness of it all, ladies and gentlemen. And only then will you subside the effects of these negative emotions. If you don't accept them, you're only going to be you're only going to continue to carry this weight. You're only going to continue to put more pressure on you. But you're not doing that. I'm not seeing you doing that. I do see you affected, but I see you growing. I see you growing, and let me tell you, the growth that you're finding is by actually abandoning this situation, is by leaving it out in the fucking cold. That's how you're growing out of the situation. So, good. Do what you must in order to detach. If you need to annihilate this individual out of your life, vanish from their world, do so. Do so. Because at the end of the day, you're, you're taking care of yourself. You're valuing yourself. All right? <clears throat> Let's see. What is Capricorn's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? That was just an overall energy. This could be this. This could be someone doing that to you. Let's see. What is Capricorn's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? <clears throat> Accepting what has happened is absolutely paramount. And then from that point forward, realizing that you feel like shit. That you feel undervalued. That you feel taken for granted. Then what? Then what? Then you find a solution, ladies and gents. You realize that. You realize your worth. And some of you may say, some of you may feel like a piece of shit. Fuck, I'm not worthy. Well, there you go. That's exactly what you need to be conscious of. How the fuck are you viewing yourself? How do you feel about yourself? Instead of saying like, fuck, that, that ex didn't value me. Instead of saying... My value is, is something worthless. Well, you say, fuck that. I know my worth. I know what, what I'm capable of. I know that I deserve much better. I know. But you got to be honest with yourself. Because you could be a piece of shit. And then you're lying to yourself. All right? So you got to be honest with yourself in order to make the appropriate changes so that you can grow. It's not easy. It's not easy. But you got to be honest with yourself. Anyways, what's going on here with the King of Cups? You got love for somebody here, but you are, you're not, you're not sharing it. You're not, uh, I feel that you're closed off. I feel that your heart space is simply not open at this time, but you got some mad love. In fact, the person that you're dealing with may be, may be uh, trying to make a move on you here. We got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the lovers, ladies and gentlemen. But what's with this Four of Coins? Why is, why is Capricorn projecting this Four of Coins? This Four of Coins is about holding on tightly to something, the tower. You still haven't gotten over this fallout that you've had with this individual, Capricorn. You haven't gotten over this. The Hermit. No, I feel that you got, a lot, you got mad love for somebody. I mean, undeniable love. And due to the fallout and the way it ensued, I feel that you're having a hard time bringing change into the situation. What's with the Hierophant? Why is the Hierophant here? The star card. So you're telling me that your desires of uh, stability or some sort of seven of swords. <clears throat> the world card. I feel like you want to be done with, with all this, with this bloody mess, Capricorn. All right. I feel that you video cut off. Anyways, so what I was saying here, what I am seeing is that on a level of desires, you're actually wanting to wrap this up, okay? It's like whatever it is that's being invested into this relationship is, is not sufficient. It's not going to sustain a, a marriage. It's not going to sustain a long-term relationship. You're wanting to wrap up that effort. You're wanting to wrap up that effort with the Seven of Swords, or rather, you see, it is this type of action that resulted in the Tower Moment. Whatever it is that was being invested in this relationship was a faulty foundation which ended up crumbling. And that sort of energy is what you're wanting to do away with when it comes to this relationship. However, when I look at your energy, it seems that you aren't, your actions are not aligned with what it is that you actually desire. Okay? I'm just throwing that out there. I'm going to get some advice for you in a moment, but let's see. What is, what about Capricorn's person? What's going on here with Capricorn's person? What's going on here with Capricorn person? What's going on here with Capricorn person? Okay. The star. Nine of, 
So this individual is definitely in a much better state emotionally. Okay, I feel that they've gotten over. I don't want to say that they've gotten over, but they most certainly have made progress here in finding contentment and peace with the situation. I feel that they're desirous of being of, of you. They most certainly desire you. All right, your wish fulfillment to this individual, or they're wishing for you, the star card and the nine of cups. You're, uh, you're, you're an object of desire for this person here, Capricorn. Talk to me about the star card, the ace of cups. That's what they're wishing upon, ladies and gents. But this is all imaginary energy. Oh, fuck. This is imaginary energy is really what I'm saying. All right. They're desirous of a new beginning with Capricorn. That's it. I mean, that, there's not much more to see in regards to this individual. Anything else that wants to come up? Anything that's going to be insightful for Capricorn? You already know that this individual wants to be getting with you. I, I mentioned that earlier. So you could be engaging with this person here. You could be fucking putting them at a distance. Let me see. Anything else regarding this person? Queen of Wands. <laughs> Look at this shit, ladies and gents. Look at this. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Two of Cups. I feel that both of you guys want this. I feel that the desire to be together is something mutual between you and them, Capricorn. That's what I'm getting the indication of. All right. So let's see. Let's get some advice from Capricorn. Anything, any insight here? Because it seems like you guys need it. Shit. When it comes to matters of love. Let's see. Any advice, any insight that will serve Capricorn? Mind you, I am going to be doing an extended where I'm going to... I'm going to be deconstructing your person. I want to look into this individual's mind. I want to see what sort of energy encompasses their thoughts regarding you. I want to look into their actions here in the month of December. I also want to see their feelings as well as the near future of where the situation is going. All right. But before I go to the extended here, I'm going to get some insight for you. Let's see what comes up for you, Capricorn. <clears throat> Let's get two more and tune in. All right, let's see. Ten of coins, a tower, and the queen of pentacles. Ladies and gents, this is absolutely <clears throat> reconcilable. All right, whatever it is that you got going on here is most certainly reconcilable. There just simply has to be a, an attempt or intention, an intentional act of moving away from whatever turbulent feelings you are experiencing in order to move towards this love, because there is love. There is love. I mean, this could have been a very significant relationship here. Ten of Coins and the Lovers, ladies and gentlemen. So, what I'm getting the sense of here, Capricorn, is that this, these feelings are mutual between you and this person. Furthermore, if you're wanting to move towards unity with this person, all it entails is you working on your feelings, you reaching a state of being balanced emotionally. All right, because you're most certainly in discord right now. You know you've got tremendous feelings for this person. But you're blocked off. Why? Because you're holding on to something. Because you haven't allowed the tower to fall. You have to allow whatever happened, you must allow it to ensue. Let's just say there was deception. Well, yes, you guys can definitely come back from this. If, you, if this is something you accept, not everybody is going to accept this individual back. However... If you accept it and say, you know what, this is this fucking, this is this shitty thing that happened to me, but you know this individual is definitely making an effort. They're showing, they're showing, they're they're being genuine and they're showing their their true interest and want and wanting to turn the situation around. Well, you begin to accept this. You begin to accept the possibilities of success. Okay, you don't hold on to the fucking betrayal. All right, you accept it, and only then can you transform it. And it's not easy. It's not challenging. But it really seems as if some of you are resisting that acceptance of whatever it is that you guys went through. And so long you accept it, you're only prolonging your own well-being. You're only prolonging a positive transformation in this. Whether you're going to move on from this or whether you're going to reconcile. So, ladies and gents, do what you must in order to find emotional peace. Okay? Because it is emotional peace that will lead you back towards reestablishing harmony in this connection. This is what I got for you, Capricorn. I'm taking this to the extended. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.